Hey, what's up, beautiful people? It's Indarima. Welcome to the channel. Today, we have this very interesting video, and it's from Turning Point USA. and I'm excited to check this one out. Let's check it out. I identify as a lesbian, black, female, and some people might call me a little bit masculine. With your philosophy, tell me, what does my life look like through your eyes? I don't have mm -hmm. any foregone conclusions about you because I don't know you. A lot mm -hmm. of people will try to pigeonhole you because of your identity. They will say, okay, well, you just said that you were lesbian and that you were black and that's what I was talking about. So that means that you must support transgenderism because we added the letter onto the mm. flag. That's wrong. I don't know you. I'd like to get to know you. I'd like to hear about your ideas. You know, people can become friends on the basis of who they actually are as individuals and not True. what society is demanding of you based on your sexual preference. Exactly. So I have no, I have no opinion of you other than the fact that you seemed really open-minded tonight and you you were respectful you stayed here you showed up to hear me i'm mm -hmm. sure you didn't agree with everything but i changed your mind on other things and i think that that's absolutely heroic in today's society wow oh my god beautiful i mean this right here is everything i want to see society has told it that everybody i've got to go crazy and i've, and I've got to be crazy it went sharing ideas or talking in the debate and the likes or asking question you don't let the person answer the question you interrupt and all of the craziness but this right here is legit respect and she got the respect back and i just have to applaud this lady for being respectful it speaks more volume to her character and it goes to show that she has respect for herself and it's crazy that we don't get to see more of this in this day and age i mean it's not like it doesn't exist it does but society has turned it that craziness is more allowed in the world as opposed to being normal and it's it's it doesn't work that way i don't even understand how we are now normalizing craziness and the level of disrespect to p towards one another it's it don't make sense to me and it will not but yeah let's check the comments to read what other people have got to say regarding this Someone wrote, Candice Owens is so eloquent. I absolutely love hearing her speak. Indeed, she is. I love listening to Candice Owens and I've learned a lot from her. Someone wrote, what a novelty to opposing views, showing respect and actually listening to the other without interrupting. Absolutely true. Very true. Because society has now made it, deemed it okay to be disrespectful, rude and not acknowledge someone else someone else's opinion regardless of the fact that the both of you might completely have defense of opinion but can also see respect or each other's opinion because we cannot always agree with each other we can disagree to agree and come on a common ground to some topics or some subject matters and that's how the world has been existing and society wants to change that or make craziness a norm which does not make sense but yeah, um, someone also commented, I love to see this kind of debate. People don't need to think the same. We should listen to the others, but we are not entitled to think what they think if we don't want to. All about respect and empathy. Exactly. This is exactly what I was trying to talk about. And this right here just explained everything. Simple. We don't have to, to always agree with what you said, but we can always have our thoughts of opinion and still respect other people's choice of opinion. I mean someone also commented we aren't phobic we just don't want your pushing agendas on our kids exactly when it comes to putting this or imposing this on children it becomes a problem other than that you can run with whatever you want to do we can the world will do just fine if people decide that work with their heads nobody cares but the minute you start imposing that on children or on kids or on people to also do the same then it becomes a problem Someone commented, respect for this lady. This is how you discord. It's all about respect. Exactly. Respect. Important. Someone com commented, goosebump with how the lady carries herself. Dignity and good manner are things we can all learn. Respect. Absolutely true. Absolutely true. Someone commented, see, this is how to conduct oneself in a Q&A forum. Not like those screaming Gen Zers who will cry at the top of a crumb. What? Oh my God. But actually, it's so crazy. But fun fact is we've got some couple of Gen Zers who are very sensible. And it seems like lots of people will just want to act like children and live like children for the rest of their life. And I still will not understand how the world can be so messed up like that. 
Someone commented great clip seems like it should be common courtesy and how everyone should act. However, the left just wants to label and divide everyone is sick. Glad to see open-minded people get the opportunity to see what true conservatives are all tr about. Exactly. Most likely the society just want to create like a divide between people or amongst people when sometimes there isn't any there isn't divide but people just want to run with the narrative that oh yes we have to fulfill the societal statistics or the societal data when you don't always have to fulfill it or be in that light but all the same let me know what your thoughts are in the comment down below this right here was um filled with so much respect and i loved this interaction so far i really love your thoughts and your contribution in the comment down below you can share all the useful information you think might be really helpful and until next time see you in the next video